Welcome to Evening Prayers for Wednesday the 2nd of September. Thinking about firm foundations. Let's be still. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his Spirit. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Fill us, Holy Spirit. When the doors are closed and we are afraid to move, fill us, Holy Spirit. When we are weak and unable to act, fill us, Holy Spirit. When we are hesitant and unable to speak, fill us, Holy Spirit. When we lack energy and are unable to cope, fill us, Holy Spirit. That we may go out in your power, fill us, Holy Spirit. That we may live and work for you, fill us, Holy Spirit. That we may be part of your mission, fill us, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, be with us in these moments as we pause before you. Speak to us through your word, through the words of hymns, and help us to pray to you according to your spirit. Amen. Our reading this evening from the first letter of Peter in chapter 2, reflecting on what it means to be the people of God, rooted in him. 1 Peter 2, beginning at verse 4. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by men but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in scripture it says, See, I lay in Zion a stone, a chosen and precious cornerstone. The one who puts his trust in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone has, that the builders rejected has become the capstone, a stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into this wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Our God, reliable and firm, firm as a rock on which we build our foundations for our lives and our faith. So we listen to the words of the worship song reflecting on just that, Christ alone, Cornerstone. <laughs> Jesus' blood. 
Everything about me is uncertain. May I remember your unshakable truth. When I have been disappointed by false friends, may I put my trust in you. When I face unexpected intolerance, may I turn to your unchanging mercy. When I am rejected, may I know your endless forgiveness. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Christ alone, the cornerstone. Help me to build my life on you, so that when the winds blow, I will not be afraid, but will stand firm in the knowledge that your love can never fail, and your word is the rock that cannot move. So, Lord, as we pray for ourselves, we pray for others, for those for whom life is a difficulty at the moment, who feel that rather than rock is beneath their feet, there is shifting sand. For those struggling with shielding, with continued lockdown where that is needed. For those struggling with ill health and emotional concerns. For those struggling with mental health issues. Lord God, where the shifting sand of life is causing problems, Help those for whom we pray to find their feet standing on your solid rock, the God who is a firm foundation, who will never let us go. So in the quietness, we bring to God those for whom we need to pray this evening. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers that we offer in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord our God, guard us while resting, and in the new day, wake us refreshed to live that day in the hope of your promise, standing firm on the rock of faith. 
and the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you, with those whom you love, and with those for whom we have prayed, now and forevermore. Amen.